got some tips and advice on painting your bathroom vanity. It's all part of my series of a bathroom reno without the demo. Here's all the supplies that you're gonna need to paint your bathroom vanity. The key to painting a bathroom vanity is to take your time and really prep the surface before you paint. If you jump right into painting without prepping, the paint won't adhere well and you'll get chips and scratches before you know it. Let's start by removing the hardware on the doors and the drawers. Once everything is removed, it's time to really clean that vanity. Once everything is cleaned, make sure you rinse with clean water and pat it dry. Now it's time to do some sanding. We really need to rough up the surface so the paint can adhere better. If your bathroom vanity has a clear finish, use a 220 grit sanding sponge or a palm sander to remove that gloss. You really want to rough up the surface until it has a dull finish. I prefer a sanding block because it's easier to hold and gets into all the detail work on cabinets. Once the piece is sanded, clean up the dust and give the piece a wipe down using a tack cloth to pick up any of those remaining dust particles. Next up is taping. You wanna apply painter's tape on the wall, the countertop, the floor, basically anywhere the vanity touches that really shouldn't be painted. When applying the painter's tape, take your time and really make sure to press down on the tape evenly so it protects the surface from the paint. I like to follow up with a wet rag to really lock in that tape. Let's talk primers for a second. There's some great paints out there that have primers built in, but since a vanity is in a bathroom that's subject to moisture, I'm going to use Kills White Water-Based Primer and Sealer. To apply the primer, I'm going to use a two-inch synthetic angled brush, and then I'm also going to use a small four-inch foam roller. This foam roller works great on vanities that are small. Let it dry for one hour before coming back and giving the piece a light sanding. You're probably wondering why I sanded after putting the primer on, and the reason is to keep the surface as smooth and flat as possible. Lightly sanding using another 220 grit sanding sponge will eliminate any of those leftover brush marks or splatters before you put your finishing paint on. Now the fun part, color. I'm using Magnolia Home by Joanna Gaines, trim, door, and cabinetry interior semi-gloss paint. The color I chose is Signature. It's a deep denim blue that will totally change the look of this vanity. When you start painting your vanity, start by trimming the edges first, and then make your way through the detail work on the cabinet. Finish painting by using a small four inch roller. This way you can catch any drips that might have happened. Let the paint dry for two hours and come back and give it a second coat. Remove the tape after the second coat is almost dry. Your vanity will be dry to the touch within an hour, but not fully cured for seven days. Wait until the piece is cured before adding any of the hardware back on. That looks great. Now it's onto this bathroom floor, and I have that video coming up next.